How to use Adobe Firefly in Photoshop. Hi there! In this video, we will learn how you'll be able to use Adobe Firefly, especially with the generative fill feature in Adobe Photoshop Beta. So, first thing you need to do is go to your web browser and search for adobe.com. And what you'll need to do first is actually go to Creative Cloud, where if you haven't installed any Creative Cloud into your computer yet, it would be best for you to install the Adobe Creative Cloud so that you'll be able to access the Photoshop beta and then in that way you'll be able to use the generative fill feature. So here I switch to uh, adobe.com and this is currently the adobe creative cloud so uh, since i already have installed adobe uh, creative cloud into my computer what i'll do here is i'll just need to start a free trial for a photoshop beta so here with the Photoshop beta, this actually is not a free feature. They only offer a seven day free trial for you to look and try into the new version of the Photoshop where they incorporate generative fill and let AI generate and fill out the space for you. So here with the Adobe Creative Cloud, you just need to download the Creative Cloud. And as you can see, I have it installed here. Now that I've created an account, what I'll do here is go to the left side panel of the screen and go to beta apps. When you go to beta apps, here you'll be able to see Photoshop beta. This is what you'll need to install into your computer. And then just click and open once you have purchased a free trial for seven days. And you don't have to worry, you're free to cancel the free trial. Just make sure that that is before the end date. So once I open the Photoshop beta here, you can see that I already have a few um, images that I've edited here. So all you have to do is go to Creative Cloud, go to beta apps, go to Photoshop beta and click and open. And this, was, and this will be the appearance on how the Photoshop beta would look like. So you can see there's a logo instead of the uh, dark background, it would be white with the uh, blue text. So here we just open an image for us to edit. Look for this. So you can either click a new file if you want a blank canvas or you can upload the image that you'd like to edit here with Photoshop. So once we have the image uploaded here into our Photoshop beta, what you can do is actually click on the lasso tool, the tool here, the one with that looks like a lasso right below the rectangle tool. Now that we have that the clothes or the shirt of the model here, we can enclose that and we will remove the or delete the image that is on the or that's within the selected area here on the image so what we will do is on the left right side panel of the screen make sure that you duplicate the image so that you will be able to erase and have a transparent image here on the selected area of the model that we have. So once you have enclosed the image, you just need to click on generative fill and then you will just need to type in the prompt here on this box provided. So for example, you want to change the shirt and then you can definitely modify that here. So you just need to click on generate and then wait for it to load and here with Photoshop beta they will provide you three different variations of the image that you are looking for. So here now that it's fully loaded this is the first image that you have and then you can just click on the arrow or browse into the image here on the right panel of the screen and then you have the option either to use that image that they generate or just re regenerate another image if you don't like the image that they created for you. 
So here, let me type in the prompt. So here on the right side panel of the screen, you'll be able to see that there's a box right above the images. That's where you can edit the prompt if you want to change the words within the prompt that you have created. So here, let's stay with this one instead. It does not provide me the red shirt, but the modified shirt that they provided is still good. So what we will do is we will change the background here. As you can see, there's a cloth or white cloth right at the back of the model where I don't like it that much. So we will try to change that. We will remove the background here by clicking on the select tool or you actually have the option to see that right beside the generate the full button the second option there is remove background so when you remove the background here you have right beside the select subject it automatically detects the background and you will be able to remove or photoshop beta will automatically remove the background for you so here, now that the background has been removed, what you can do is cl click on the magic wand tool and make sure that you have selected all the areas of the image that we selected. So here, making sure that we have everything filled out right here so you have another option here where you can select the subject and then just select invert so that instead of the subject selected it will be directed towards the background instead so here i'm just making sure that i covered all the spaces so here look what i did i just click on select subject just to write the beside the remove background option once the subject is selected you will have the option to invert the selection and then click on generate a fill so here you can modify the background for example i wanted beach i can click on beach and then it will automatically generate the image and it will definitely be very seamless where it looks like the original image was a beach you just wait for it to load and there you have it as you can see it looks like that the original image is this image that we've generated here you have three options you have this one and the third one right here so i'd like to use the first image that was generated and let's compare that to the original image that we uploaded earlier so let's just duplicate the original image here just for you to see the difference between the original and the image that we generated so as you can see this is the original image and this is the edited image using the generative feature here with photoshop beta and as you can see it's a very seamless image that we've created here the background seems to blend with the model that we have and it really good um, looks natural here so another option here is you can add a for example facial facial feature you want to change or add a sunglasses you can just select the lasso tool and then just enclose the eyes or the area where you want the sunglasses to be on and then here as you can see the ai or photoshop beta automatically generates three different styles of the sunglasses here and we just need to choose one right here and you have an option as well to add a hat or if you want to change the hair you can definitely do so just modify that here so for example we just i'll leave this as is so once we have that image you can just export the image and as you can see we have definitely created a different image right here and that's the end of the video that's how you'll be able to use adobe firefly in photoshop
Thank you for watching. Bye.